I can describe my motion egocentrically, right? Things that are in front of me, behind me, to the right of me, to the left of me, right? And that, of course, varies by how I'm oriented because it is relative to me. But I can also describe my position allocentrically. I can say where I am relative to the North Pole, for example, right? The first is a first-person egocentric way of moving through the world. The second is an allocentric third person. Now extend that out. People are much less egocentrically oriented when they're describing the experience of their state than they are normally. They're much more allocentrically oriented. And that makes sense, given how intensified the experience of reality is to them. It's like the salience of reality is finally capable of eclipsing the narcissistic glow of our own ego. I mean, do you not sometimes wish to be free from the prison cell of the super salience of your own ego? Hello, Future Bing. Hello, Future Bing. Uh, hello, Future Bing. Um, the whole of the UK is on lockdown this week. Welcome to lockdown. It's lockdown with Bing, with past Bing. Hello. This week, the UK joined the rest of Europe in declaring a state of emergency over coronavirus, COVID-19, a pandemic that is affecting the entire world. And at first, like a lot of people, for me, it was just something that was happening on the news. And then it was something that was affecting some people, but not others. Then it started creeping into my work life. Students weren't coming in. And now I am more or less confined to my home. Ravensbourne has closed its site, and I find myself just sat here. At first, it was kind of exciting. I suddenly had a lot of time on my hands to catch up with editing and uh, tidy around the house, do some more cooking, spend time exercising. And then it dawned on me that it might be like this for quite a while. That feeling I had, Future Bing, I think it was this. It occurs to me that this first few weeks of PBFB, I haven't really been taking an interest in you, Future Bing. I haven't been asking you that many questions. I haven't been speculating and wondering about the future because the present is so weird and so salient and so overwhelming that it's taken all of me just to keep up with it and to, to keep working on this project. It's hard to see the future, it's, it's hard to even speculate or ask questions about the future when what is happening right now seems so chaotic. But I want to look to the future, I want to be excited about what is next, and I want to do my best to give you all this stuff that I don't have. Hope and excitement and freedom. I want to kill this time in our lives, Future Bing. I want to bring it to a close. I want to move on from this shared fucking doom and be excited and happy. I want to educate and inspire and try new things without this cloud above me. But to do that takes strength. Um, strength I don't always feel like I have. I can't, I can't sit down. I can't, I have to, I have to stand next season. This is the wrong energy. I need to be able to stand.